Okay, yes. All right, Commissioner. I, I will be right there. Thank you. Lucinda, what are you still doing here? Maybe I should accompany you to the Commissioner's office so that I, you can explain to me as well why the new chief of detectives hauled her brother's butt in here on serious charges and then let him off without even a, a rap on the knuckles. You know what, Lucinda? I just don't have time for this, okay? Margo, but... I'm sorry, purely. Craig is implicated in the crimes that Ruby and her father committed. Craig had absolutely no problem proving that he was being blackmailed by Gabriel Frank. Where is your proof that my brother was drugging you? Hmm? Gabriel Frank told you so himself. Oh, Lucinda, that lowlife would turn in his own mother to get a plea bargain. Now listen, Gabriel and Ruby Frank admitted that they drugged you. They're behind bars. Case is closed, so why don't you go home and have a nice glass of champagne and celebrate, all right? Sounds great. However, however, what about my butler? who has gone missing to get him out of the way so that I could be poisoned even uh, if it was the Frank's own volition. Perhaps your butler just simply left because he's as sick of you as I am. That's quite possible, Margot. But Matthew, unlike some, is a professional and he would never leave without giving notice. Well, as a professional, if I see or hear anything about your butler, I'll give you a holler. Hey, Margot, get these guys! Round him up and go down into Gabriel's oh, cell and beat him. I mean, browbeat him, whatever, until he comes up with some real answers. You know what? I'm beginning to think that Craig was right about you. What? That I've gone around... Oh, I've gone around the bend. Mm. Well, after a night like this, wouldn't anybody go around the bend? I have lost faith. I have lost faith in the Oakdale Police Department. But am I upset? No, not a bit. Have I lost patience? No, not a bit. And all of you have been trying to drive me insane, but I haven't lost my mind. <laughs> right. Lucinda, what's it gonna take to get you to leave? Bug spray? Margot, darling, I have just had a telephone call on my cell from Jake McKinnon in his car. And he knows, he thinks, where Matthew can be found. And now that's something that the Oakdale police was not able to manage. Now, if he's going to bring him here if he finds him. And if he does come here, he will implicate Craig in these crimes in a way that even you cannot ignore. Thank you. Matthew! Oh, Matt! Matthew! Oh! Oh, dear. Is that really you? Are you all right? Oh, he almost wasn't. Oh. Where was he? Tied and gagged at the Fairwinds estate. No one even lives there, not even a caretaker. No. If we yeah. hadn't found the remote control for the gates... Gabriel Frank left me there to die, and I thought it was all over. But then, Mr. McKinnon and Miss Conlon found Bless and Boat. Right, Matthew. Okay. Okay, Matthew. Now that you're here, I want you to tell the new chief of detectives of the Oakdale Police everything that happened, the whole ugly story. I am fully prepared to cooperate with the authorities. Wonderful. Thank you, Matthew. Why don't we start by looking at a few mug shots here, all right? Come on down. Do you... Do you recognize uh, the man... This is the man that held me prisoner, yes. But there's more to it than that. Yes! Uh, tell, tell her how, how Mr. Craig was involved. He was involved, too, wasn't he? Mr. Montgomery? No. Uh, he had nothing to do with it. I've carried a secret ever since I came to this country. Thank you. During my wild youth in England, I was part of a burglary ring. You're kidding. Right? Oh, I'm not kidding, no, miss. Uh, it got a bit uh, dicey, as I say. I uh, was about to be arrested, so I fled to America. That was, that was what, about 20 years ago? That was over 30 years ago. And I thought all of this was behind me. But Gabriel Frank found out about my past and threatened to alert the British authorities. So that's why I left your home, Ms. Walsh. Matthew, that's it? Well, it's refreshing to... Uh, finally confess. I've been living with the specter of guilt for all these years. Uh, will I be arrested or deported? Matthew, my good man, have you never heard of the statute of limitations? She's right, Matthew. 
As much as you would rather spend the night in the slammer as opposed to going home with Miss Congeniality here. You cannot be extradited for a crime such as burglary after all this time. Oh, if I'd only known. Well, if you'd only asked. You know, listen, I think you should take Matthew home <laughs> so he can rest up. <laughs> Come on, Matthew. Now, put yourself together. Have you nothing to say about Mr. Craig? Can you not implicate him in some way? I'm, I'm sorry. I never saw Mr. Montgomery. Fine. Let's go home. Okay, come on. Do you know that because of your disappearance, a girl wormed her way into my house and was poisoning me? No. And because I'm going to dock your pay and your vacation days for every day that you were missing. Go ahead, Matthew. Go on. Whatever. Go ahead. Get Whatever. Get in the car. Matt. Margo, I'm not going to forget this evening. Craig is out to get me, I think. But over my dead body, 